Thank you very much for staying connected to us um, on ONIF TV. This is Still Serious Matters, and my name is Olupunle Abraham. And of course, um, one of the reports reaching us here is that uh, Burkina Faso's President Roj Kobori Kabore has been detained at a military camp by mutiny soldiers, um, two security sources, and a West African diplomat said on Monday, following heavy gunfire around his residence on Sunday night in the capital. Oh, Oaga Dogu. Um, several armored vehicles of the presidential fleet riddled with bullets um, could be seen near the presidential president's residence on Monday morning. Uh, one was spattered with blood. Residents of this of the president's neighborhood reported heavy gunfire overnight. Well, <clears throat> I beg your pardon, military coup underway in Burkina Faso. President has been detained. Well, the government are uh, denied rumor on Sunday that um, a coup was underway as sustained as sustained gunfire rang out for hours from several military camps with mutiny soldiers demanding more support for their fight against Islamist militants. Um, government sources could not immediately be reached on Monday. Um, frustration has risen in the West African country in recent months due to the frequent killing of civilians and soldiers by the militants, um, some of whom have links to Islamic State and Al-Qaeda. Of course, Nigeria is having a strong um, bite of that same event. And so we are having our own issues also in Nigeria. Protesters have come out to support the Mitinians uh, on Sunday and ransacked the headquarters of Kabori's political party. Um, the government declared a copy from 20 or 2000 GMT to 0530 um, GMT until further notice and closed schools for two days. That's the report from Burkina Faso. Well, um, one of the relatives had it that heavy gunfire was had yesterday at the military camp on Wadugaya and Kaya with Mutini and reportedly listing a set of demands. Despite the government insisting that the mutiny was localized and under control, there seemed to be um, palpable tension when the, I mean, the internet service was suspended and little or no words were heard from President Kabori. Um, so um, Save for his encouraging tweets to the stallion at the Akon in Cameroon. Um, Roach Mark Christian Kabore was first elected in 2015 and won a second time last year. Well, so you just been uh, seen outside Burkina Faso State TV after minutes, uh, mutinies. Ooded soldiers take up position outside Burkina Faso TV. In the capital, Ouagadougou, a day after mutinies at several barracks across the country, um, not immediately clear if the troops are mutineers or sent by government. So there are still sketchy reports regarding the events as of today, because this situation was as of yesterday. So we do not know what whether the government or the the the, the democratic government has taken over what is happening in that place or not but then we will bring you updates as they unfold but then the mutineers are expected to make a public statement on television and of course let people know what they are actually but then looking at some of the videos or some of the pictures that are online there are quite a lot of um you know issues there are vehicles that were redoed with, with um, bullets and all of that um we have a u.s shots embassy in Oaga Dogo, and that's this morning. U.S. shots embassy, U.S. shots embassy. Monday morning, um, January twenty fourth, the U.S. embassy in Odo, I mean Oaga Dogo, is closed due to the uncertainty of ongoing security concerns um, throughout Oada. Wagadogo, pardon, pardon me. American citizens in Burkina Faso are advised to monitor all methods of communication, including media reporting. Um, sources contact the embassy numbers given there if you need immediate assistance. Actions to take: take elements and avoid crowded. I mean, large. Avoid large crowds. Limit movement to emergencies and monitor local media's. 
for um, support. The same thing goes to everybody outside there. Just make sure you are safe. Uh, make sure you are safe. I believe that um, peace will return to um, calmness and all of that will return back to Burkina Faso um, very, very shortly. Thank you very much for watching. We would bring you updates like I promised earlier on as they unfold. Please do go to our platform on only TV reporters and of course get more details as touching events going on around the world. Thank you.